Hi, my name is James Rico. I'm a sales engineer with Quest Software. I uh, work with the case line of products. So as an admin, you have many types of devices. You have mobile devices to manage today. And some are company owned, some are personal owned. And the question becomes, how can you effectively you know, manage those endpoints? And to be able to manage them, you have to be able to initially connect them. So today, we're going to talk about the different enrollment methods for mobile devices uh, as it pertains to our Case Cloud MDM. So there's really two, two main distinctions between the types of management you'll do against mobile devices. Uh, there's BYOD, or bring your own device, and there's company owned. That's really the, the main dividing line between the two. You also may hear um, the terms um, supervised versus non-supervised out there. But basically, it means if it's a BYOD device, it's typically non-supervised. And company-owned devices are typically supervised. So it, you can think of it as a spectrum of control. So you have the least amount of control with a personal-owned device, and you have the most amount of control with a company-owned device. So let's talk about Android uh, device management. So there's a number of uh, styles of management uh, for Android devices. First, we're talking about the work profile. This is typically for uh, bring the bring your own device mode of management. And what's going to happen is uh, when you enroll that device, the customer's already probably or the end users already using the device, uh, but you want to you know be able to have some control or management to be able to secure your company's data and give you give the user access to the tools they need to do their job. So uh, they'll typically uh, click on an enrollment URL and then walk through and we'll put a profile on that endpoint. So they have a link, they'll enter their work email, they'll enter their passcode, and they'll accept the terms and conditions and a profile will be installed on the device. There's also um, another type of enrollment for Android called COPE, or company-owned, personally-enabled device. And what that is, it's a device that's, you know, it's company-owned, um, but it gives the user a uh, enough freedom of, of choice on the device that they could use it as a personal device also. So your company buys the device. It has enough controls around security, application, and configuration management, but also leaves it open for the user where they can, you know, manage that device uh, on their own. Uh, you know, to use for their personal business. Uh, then the next would have is a fully managed device. So similar to COPE, it is a company-owned device, but it's fully managed. So that means anything and everything an admin would want to lock down on that, you could. You might use that for something like a device that's in kiosk mode or uh, like a handheld scanner that's based on Android where, you know, you want full control over that endpoint and how it acts, it's, it's you know geared for enterprise. And then there's Android Zero Touch. So that is um, a method of enrolling Android devices where you buy your phones through a, uh, a partner that's registered for Zero Touch, and they have a specific set of devices that meet the Zero Touch requirements. So from that, you can buy your phones from a reseller. Uh, they can be directly shipped to an end user. The end user can log in and start using that device and that profile and, and all the things you configure will automatically drop drop on that endpoint and allow you to, you know to be managing it going forward. So that's you know the options for enrollment around Android. Let's next talk about our uh, iOS and Apple devices. So for Apple, um, there's a couple ways to get a device enrolled. There's the Apple device enrollment program. And so you would use that in conjunction with Apple School Manager or Apple Business Manager. And uh, basically, when you buy a device, the serial number is linked to that account. Uh, there's also a method for uploading you know, existing devices serial numbers into Apple Business Manager to use with DEP. But it's the same type of scenario. So you, as, uh, as Android Zero Touch, but it's for Apple devices. So you could ship somebody a device. It's going to be uh, in a factory reset state. So they would connect to a network, authenticate, and you would configure what they would authenticate against. So again, usually it's a company email, uh, password, and you would have built an, a, a DEP enrollment profile that determines kind of the out-of-box experience for an Apple or iOS device. Uh, so the user would go through all that, and again, at that time, the device is fully managed. 
um, with Case Cloud MDM. Kind of the second method of doing that is for devices that are already in use. Um, you have the same capability uh, as like a BYOD device. So you can send somebody a link, they can click on the link, they can authenticate, and a profile will drop on that device as well as any of the configurations or applications you configure. So, uh, you know, and, uh, Apple I iOS devices, Apple TV, those are all things you can configure and manage either a manual enrollment or a zero touch type enrollment, which Apple calls DEP. Next, we'll take a look at uh, Windows and how that is handled. So Windows device enrollment, there's a couple of methods to do that. Um, one is if you have Azure AD uh, and have access to Autopilot, you can configure Autopilot to redirect any Windows device, uh, the Windows 10 or Windows 11, to be managed by case. So you would upload the serial numbers for those devices in, the, in your Microsoft account. When a user gets a device, again, they'll connect to the network and they'll be prompted to authenticate. And any of the things you've configured in Case Cloud MDM for your Windows device would, would get applied to that endpoint and you'd be managing it you know, from the get go. Um, and the second way to do that is a, a manual style enrollment for uh, the Windows device, similar to BYOD. Um, so you can send the user a link. Again, they can click it, they can authenticate, uh, and then you'll be managing that endpoint. There's also another method to do that. So in Windows, if you go to the Users tab and, sl and select Add a Work or School account, and the user enters their uh, the same account you set up in Case Cloud MDM, so it's typically again their work account, and they authenticate with that, then we're also going to put that device under management. So there's kind of two two ways to enroll a Windows device uh, manually, and then you can use Autopilot for a zero touch type enrollment for the endpoint. So next we'll we'll take a look at um, a demonstration. We got some machines set up. We'll go through the enrollment process and take a look at that. And uh, we'll be right back and get started with that. First, we'll take a look at enrolling an iPad into Case Cloud MDM. So we'll open up Safari, and then we'll uh, the user is going to be prompted to in, enter their uh, work email account and passcode, which we'll be doing next. And this ensures that they, you know, enroll the device with the correct account. So not any password is going to work connecting into Case Cloud MDM. It has to be one that you've already set up with single sign-on. So it's going to, you know, pull in their work email account and then authenticate against uh, your identity provider, be that like Office 365 or One Identity or Okta or something like that. So uh, you'll have enabled uh, single sign-on as part of the setup process. Any device that's enrolled in the Case Cloud MDM will then leverage that authentication mechanism uh, to you know, validate a user is who is allowed to get their device enrolled. And that can also be used to put people in different groups for different policies that you may have set up. So uh, once we get authenticated here with our passcode, um, you know, ask us want to say signed in, we'll go past that. And we're going to click on Enroll Device. And we want to uh, allow that action. The profile is going to download. And so uh, what you'll do is click Profile Download. You have to click Install. The user will have to enter their passcode. And they'll be prompted to install the profile. And this, is, again, um, I didn't mention earlier, is a BYOD style enrollment for an iPad. So right now the profile is being downloaded. Uh, and load it on the endpoint, and we have to click Trust. And so now that device is enrolled in Case Cloud MDM. Next, we'll look at a Windows device. Uh, that'll be coming right up. So we've got this set up for Autopilot. So I took a, a Windows device, uploaded the serial number into uh, Azure AD. It's connected and redirected to Case. Again, we saw the screen just a second ago, had the Case logo. Uh, entered the uh, correct work account and passcode, and we start enrolling the device. So anytime this device is factory reset, uh, it's going to come back around to the same enrollment uh, setup. So they'll have to authenticate uh, against Case Cloud MDM, which again is is leveraging your identity provider. So you can see up here it says you know, this Case logo will help us protect your account. Um, I have two factors set up, so it's prompting me on my 
two-factor authentication uh, app on my phone to authenticate. And now the enrollment process is proceeding. And we're, we're dropping that profile on a Windows device. And it's just going to go through its you know kind of standard setup uh, as an out-of-box experience with the key point being leveraged. It's already hooked into our, our mobile device management solution. So any of the things that we've built out policy-wise and attached to a Windows 10 policy would apply to this device. And once it comes back around, um, you know, if you had application set up, uh, configurations, uh, policies or profiles, any of those things that are set up for your Windows 10 device would apply to that endpoint. And there's terms of use, uh, uh, terms of use, again, you could, you could edit and update that information that gets shown to the user. You're prompted to accept that. And now the device is going into its uh, setup here. So it takes a few moments. Uh, the benefit of this is, hey, somebody's working from home, you order new laptops. Um, the vendor can upload those into uh, Azure AD on your behalf, which is linked to Case Cloud MDM. So you can leverage autopilot to automatically enroll your devices. If it's a MacBook, you'd have something similar, um, but it's called DEP. So for iOS and Mac OS, if it's a company-owned device, it would be a DEP enrollment. So it'd be a similar process, it's a little bit different. Uh, but basically the same kind of, you define the out-of-box experience, and then after that, what happens to that device and what gets dropped down on it. And we're just about to come around here. so. We'll go ahead and stop the video uh, here at this point. I'd like to thank you for your time today. And if you guys are interested in more information, uh, feel free to you know, uh, click on the link on the screen or scan the QR code. Uh, there's a free 14-day trial that you can uh, sign up for and uh, it's automatically provisioned for you if, you if you go through that process. And also there's some links for us to contact you. So if you're over on that page and want to talk to me about Case Cloud MDM, we're happy to help. Thank you.